I had a chance to gain the world, and to live like a king, but without your love, it doesn't mean a thing. These are part of the lyrics to a song written by the late Keith Green, one of the most successful Christian musicians in the 1970s. If you've never heard of Keith Green, please just search his name in YouTube after this video, and you'll hear a music that is straight from his heart. Keith Green was first a servant of God, before a musician. And to him, to live a life dependent and obedient to God, was much more important than his worldly success. As he said in the lyrics earlier, his heart's desire was to live a life pleasing to God. In the book, No Compromise, we learn that he purchased several homes, not to live in luxury, but to house the sick, the poor, the drug addicts, and homeless, just as he thought Jesus would have him do. He often played his guitar and sang in public on beaches, and people would gather to hear him. He then shared the gospel of Jesus Christ with whoever would listen. Before his conversion, searching for something to fill his empty heart, he participated in all kinds of religions, drugs, and even Eastern mysticism. He poured his heart into everything he tried, but he found that none of his religious endeavors ever brought him fulfillment. They left him feeling more empty than before. When he finally accepted Jesus as his Lord, he said that he felt like his heart became a cup that constantly overflowed with living water. He had finally found the source of life, Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. He loved Jesus with all his heart, and trusted him like a little child. Keith Green's songs, ministry, and revival meetings changed lives and became avenues, through which the Holy Spirit moved. Many who knew Keith Green were saddened when he and his two young children were unexpectedly killed in a small airplane crash on July 28, 1982, when he was only 28 years old. However, God's timing is never wrong, and Jesus said that not even a sparrow falls from the sky without him knowing. Keith Green's wife, Melody Green, continues the last day's ministry they started together, even today. Keith Green's life was a testimony of God's grace and power. God uses all kinds of people in the world, and what a wonderful thing to see the countless colors in the immense spectrum of his light. Keith Green was one of those wonderful colors. Praise be to God, who reigns forevermore.